What's up, y'all? I'm here doing a little uh, summer scouting. What is today? August. I don't know. It's mid-August. I'm going to give y'all a couple tips on uh, checking mast trees. Hard mast, soft mast. How to, you know, tell what trees are going to be dropping come September, October when season opens. For starters, we got these persimmons right here. Now, not all persimmons drop fruit. There's actually male and female persimmon trees. These are females because they have fruit. And typically the trees that grow on the edge of a field or any trees that get full sun produce the most fruit. And that goes for oaks and a lot of fruit producing trees. That goes for most things in general. Full sun, more fruit. So if you want to uh, test to make sure that the deer are going to like them, you bite into them while they're green. Just kidding. So yeah, the persimmons are pretty easy to pick out. Once you know what the tree looks like, you can kind of spot them from a distance. They got a, almost a purplish look to them sometimes. They got shiny leaves and they got these spindly branches. You'll, you'll get a feel for it if you start noticing persimmon trees. You'll be able to pick them out like across the field and be like, that looks like it might be a persimmon over there. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is gonna be about acorns. And we're gonna check some of these oak trees. Same thing, you're gonna find the most fruit on these branches here that get the full sun. If we go up under the canopy where all the shade leaves are, where they don't get any full sunlight, you're not gonna see acorns on those. So don't check those shady branches. Now, if you're in a full closed canopy forest, it can be hard to see the fruit at the top of the tree. So it's very difficult. Get a good pair of binoculars. This camera I'm holding right here is my binocular. So let's start off with this here. This is a post oak. It is in the white oak group, so your differences are going to be between white and red oaks where the acorns grow on the tree. All white oaks grow their acorns in one growing season. So this tree bloomed back in April and those acorns that were produced by those blooms are going to ripen and fall off this year here, probably in October. Post oaks are not the best producers, but this one seems like it has a few. The blooms grow on the new growing tips, the newest twigs. This is probably two or three years old. You come up here, you see how that twig changes color. This, so these came out, these leaves came out this spring, produces, this twig came out and produced flowers, and there's an acorn on this one. So you see, this is the end of the growth. This is the new growing tip, that's next year's buds. See these little brown buds in between? That's next year's twigs. So white oaks, you're going to see the acorns out on the tip of the twigs. Here's a perfect example. Looks like seven acorns, so this tree actually produced pretty good. Now let's take a look at the red oak. All right, so we got this Schumard oak. It's in the red oak group. You can tell by the leaves with the pointy bristle tips. I can't reach most of this. I'll zoom in on it, show you some close-ups. We do have one limb hanging down low. Red oak acorns take at least two growing seasons to mature. So the acorns on this tree right now that are big, that are gonna ripen this fall, these did not come from this year's blooms. They came from probably last year's blooms. So let's break this whole twig off here, make it a little easier to see. So this is this year's new growth. We're right where my thumbnail is up to the top. It's got the buds for next year's growth and it's got the new leaves. Same thing over here from my thumbnail, from my thumbnail out here, this is all this year's new growth. And it's got the buds for next year, but notice the acorns are behind the new growth because they take two growing seasons. So these came off of last year's new growth. So what does that mean if you're scouting for deer? What does that, what difference does that make? If you're looking at white oaks and you're seeing acorns hanging out on the edge of the twigs, you say that tree's loaded. Then you look at a red oak and you don't see them right away. From a distance, they're kind of hiding behind the leaves. So you might think, oh, that tree has nothing, but it's actually loaded. See, from a distance, you mainly see leaves. And you really want to get up underneath it and get a closer look behind the leaves on last year's growth. And you will see how loaded this tree really is. So now you can see on a closer inspection, this tree is loaded down and deer are probably gonna hit it at some point. Although in this area, the Schumard Oak is very common and pretty consistent producer. You gotta stay on the move during deer season to find out find that hot tree that the deer are on at the moment. Now I do have a video on 
types of browse plants to look for in the woods, stuff that's a good indicator that deer are using an area. I call them browse indicators because they're plants that deer will favor as they travel through the woods and they will always nibble off of them so it's easy to tell. If you want to watch that video, I'll put a link down in the description below so you can watch that separate video on different types of browse. But for now we're focusing on mast, hard mast like acorns and soft mast like persimmons. While I am scouting around here, I've got a couple discount codes for y'all. One is the usual Onyx hunt. If you have not tried the Onyx app, get 20% off a new membership. Use the discount code CATMAN. Sign up on the website, link is in the description. Sign up on their website, use my discount code, and then download the app and sign into your account. The other discount is also 20% off, the Mossy Oak Store. Discount code is CATMAN20. Anything regular price on the Mossy Oak Store, whether it be camo, pants, jacket, shirt, anything. They got fishing apparel, short sleeve stuff, whatever's on the Mossy Oak Store, regular price. Take 20% off of all that using my discount code. Also got a link to that. All right, so I found a chinkapin oak, which is a type of white oak, and it's loaded down, and you can see from a distance. Without binoculars, I can see with my own eyes, it's loaded, because the acorns are out on the tips of the twigs, right in between where the leaves come out. They're very easy to see out here in full sunlight anyways. Notice these acorns are not fully formed yet. It is still August. They've got growing to do, especially the white oaks since they grow faster. They're uh, not quite done growing yet. Also, chinkapin oak is uh, very common around here, but it is kind of spotty as far as acorn production. You might get, you know, once every two years, once every three years, you might get a good crop. Uh, it just depends on the tree. So I like to mark drop pins on these highly productive chinkapin oaks because they are one of the deer's absolute favorite. A tree like this that's loaded, it's got good sunlight, it's producing a good crop. Drop a pin on Onyx so I can remember because I'll, I'll forget this tree. I'm looking at hundreds of trees while I'm scouting. I'll forget this tree so I'll drop a pin on Onyx and maybe come check it out mid-October which is usually when they drop. Alright so behind me I found a white oak that's got some on it so you all can see the acorns are pretty easy to tell because they're out near the end of the branches. This one's not loaded but it's got a few. It could be good. I've actually killed deer here years ago. In a big open canopy tree like this it's easy to see acorns. Usually they're down lower in the tree because the whole side of the tree gets sunlight. In closed canopy woods you're only going to get sunlight on the top of the tree. So you're only going to have acorns mainly on the top of the tree. So it's going to be a lot harder to see. Not impossible but a lot more difficult to see them. We're going to head down here where there's some big oak trees in the bottom that usually produce pretty good. Alright, here's a big mature chinkapin oak. But we're not going to see acorns down lower here. They're going to be on the very top. So we're going to look up in between the lower branches up to the top branches. Get your binoculars or I'm going to take my camera and zoom in up there. So we got a good look at the tips of the twigs up there on the top of the tree in full sunlight. Saw a couple acorns here and there, not a lot. It looks like it is not a very productive year for this tree. So we're not going to drop a pin on it for now. Maybe drop a pin on it for next year or something. There's a lot more oak trees in here to check. So we're going to go on and find a red oak, see if we can see any acorns on a red oak. Here's a good fully mature red oak. Let's see, now there's a lot of understory here, a lot of maple trees. It's hard to see up there. This can get tricky. We're just checking stuff right now in the summer. Best time to really check is in October when the acorns are dropping, but this is kind of getting a head start on where to look in October. Now this tree is harder to tell because of the closed canopy. Remember those acorns are tucked further back. They're not out on the tip of the, of the growing branches like a white oak. There's a few here that are visible so we can tell it's at least going to have a decent crop. But we'll keep that in the back of our head. 
Another thing, if you look at the ground, always look at the ground for last year's, signs of last year's crop. If you're finding a bunch of old caps from last year's acorns, like a bunch, you're finding piles of them under one tree, that tree probably had a bumper crop last year and there's a pretty good chance it's not gonna have a very good crop this year. But also keep in mind nearby trees. I just checked the acorns on this tree and there's a bunch of caps on the ground from last year. There's also this one. So there's multiple oak trees. One of them dropped a bunch. I think it was this one. So this one probably has uh, a lot smaller crop of acorns this year. So keep that in mind. Always keep your eye on the ground too. I can tell you something about last year. If you are new to this channel and haven't seen my oak tree identification video, I also have a link to that one in the description. So I've got a whole list of links for y'all to check out. Browse and acorns and acorns, however you want to call them. And uh, as well as a couple discount codes for y'all. So check the description. Not just this video, every video. I will put information, the camera I'm filming with. I get a lot of questions, what camera do you use? It's always in the description. So check that out. Appreciate y'all watching. Now we're going to go watch some bean fields. So stick around if you want to see some deer. Beans are getting tall. Been a few deer eating these. Well, there's a few deer out. Not as many as I'd hoped. No big ones tonight. But, it's a nice evening. Anyways, hopefully y'all found this video somewhat helpful. And I'll be back out here soon. I'll catch y'all soon.